evening, Zimbabwe. You are listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America in Washington. This is Live Talk. I am Kip Stube. And I'm Marvelous Mklanganya, who are broadcasting from my home this Monday, July the 26th, 2021, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about the COVID-19 pandemic and the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. According to the Ministry of Health, COVID-19 claimed the lives of 44 people in Zimbabwe yesterday, while 617 tested positive for COVID-19. The country has recorded 394 deaths since March last year when the pandemic started. So, in fact, uh, the figure should be 3,094 instead of 394. So, yes. those are the deaths. And the Ministry of also reports that 97,894 people have tested positive for COVID-19 since March last year, and 65,913 have recovered. And at least 1,447,000 1, people have been, received their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, and over 680,000, which means the country is over the half a million threshold, has received their second dose. And Johns Hopkins University reports that 190 million, 194 million people have contracted COVID-19 worldwide, and 4.2 million have succumbed to the disease. At least 3.9 billion people have been vaccinated. And now going to sports, uh, the biggest showcase of talent all over the world. In the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games, a Zimbabwean teenager Donata Katai has, was eliminated from a swimming competition yesterday, even if she clocked her personal best of one minute to 75 seconds in the 100 meters backstroke. And Peter Gilpin also came sixth in the rowing competition. He has been relegated to the lower rankings of the event. He came fourth on Friday, first on Saturday, and sixth yesterday in the rowing event. At least Zimbabwe is still banking on three other sports persons who are also in the Olympics. This is Peter Welsha, who is participating in the 100 meters of freestyle. He's expected to be competing tomorrow. Uh, Scott Vincent in golf and Ngoni Makusha in the 100 meter event. Peter is expected to take part in the swimming competition tomorrow, as I mentioned. So, good luck to those. Yeah, Rabbi Zimbabwe Mutle Linja Labelcona and the Onzokas of Tava SGNA, okay, will have to clamp the school my COVID 19 or can I see to pay to well as Babwe. Kulaman to our figure 44, Ababla Mutalino, Isolo, what to get Abang and Jalo by 617, but to live at COVID-19. 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 <laughs> Pakati kwa bantu laba asukule 4.2 million asewe vule COVID-19. Kwa suku siti ke mkla benu wonke ke chigelele. Ispili ya lesi ya pika njalo kuti. Suku la bantu 3.9 billion asewe bata chwa ya machikisen a TNA. Yes, isi ya pambili ya sikane le eze mila alo. I 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. Ele Zimbabwe liko na kuna ngali. Kuta suku wende ke izolo. U donata atikatai. Puma ke mkla reni we 100 meters per. Hundred meter back stroke. Loba ke echa ile i one point zero two seven three seconds. E ya kesebi le ngazani kuta i personal best. Kuto ge mbogo melang gene pela kuskaba sabantu ba i sixteen kuto ge sene le sanga ngoba abanyepe meluli le. Muzo boya ge u Peter Calpin la e u be ngu number six kumdalo ake we rowing so ge sanga nze utiranga ngo so ge sene gene kulo kuto ge amakrupsi kumbeti e au utausa jaleli 
ukuthi uzuze isicoco kodwa sidlalela nje lokuthwa ama rankings singazi ukuthi kozala ngikomoni kuzobuya ke abanye abezimbabwe bekho bekhona emdlalweni le eh ngupeter westra kube zobuya eh uscott vincent kuzobuya ungoni makusha eh upeter westra siyabona ukuthi uku 100 meter freestyle njalo ukhange lokhu sasa uzangena emdlalweni wakhe uscott eh kanye longoni bakhaya nje labo basazi chale wa map marvelous ukuthi bangena emdlalweni I want to know what you are doing. 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 I want to know what you are Tiri panya ye COVID-19, bazi rejo utano rilo zivisa iro uh, kutipane vanu wakawani kwa iwo vachishaya kufamu lienda ye COVID-19 ne zuro vanushika iwo 44, uye jipane vanu 617 wakawani kwa wachibatwa ne denda ili ye COVID-19. Tutarisa kuti Parijino jino uh, kufa ne zuro eh, pane vanu shakare wakawani kwa ve 6, 617 wakabatwa ne denda ili. Asi chitari sa vanu wa shaya kufa kudenda ili. Kufara tanga muna machi gorela kufura vashika iwo pa 3094. Iji jinore wakuti parijino e ndo vanu wariku zikanoa kuti ndo wa shaya kufa kudenda ili. Uh, Minister of Health Shakare ino taura iyo kutipane wanu 97,894 wawani kwa hivyo vashibatwa nedenda ire COVID-19 kufadenda ire ratanga uh, muna machi gorela fura. Tozo chika shakare kutipane wanu 65,913 wawani kwa hivyo vashibatwa nedenda ire wakarikunda. Topinda muna uye kubayi wakwe nomba ye COVID-19. Muzimbabwe Parishi no vanu wanoshika evo 1,444,000. Vawani kwa evo vachipayi wa nomba ya uye kutanga. Ashtari sasha kare kuti Zimbabwe ya fura iyo pa half a million. Uh, ya ili pa 608,000 vanu wabayi wa nomba za ozese. Uh, Zirimbiri jino dikani wa ijo kutimunu. Anyato zivili kwa kufaku denda ili re COVID-19. Tutari za oji kukubuda ku John Hopkins University ili muno mwa Amerika ino tiyo 194 million vanu. Rova wani kwa ewa chipatwa ni denda ire COVID-19 pasirose. Uye je 4.2 million vanu. Vaka wani kwa ivo ewa chishaya pasirose. Chisanga ni siroo Zimbabwe kufaku denda ire. Tutari za kutibabai wa nomba pasirose vani kwa 3.9 billion. Tiri ipa apore geti pinda panyaya. Aze mutambo urukuna kiza chaizo uwe ma Olympics arikuiti kwa kutokyo wa 2020 sejo usuna kusuge uchiti kwa gorela fura. Apa msoro pede ndare COVID-19 wala itwa iwo goreli no. Tunuona kuti kumakunda no iwayo e, mwe mu, uh, anita shiku baguja uh, donata katai akawani kwa iye achifaza vajinji mwenye kaye Zimbabwe. Apo waka kunda pachika mchake chaanga ari asi. Nekuti iye kune vamo uwa kazu kwa nsa kunge eva chi e bagu cha kumukunda. Aka wane kwa ake achishika, achi wane kwa achitora e nguva ino kwa nsa kunge ili pamberi peje. Sasa ano mboita pa unyanju wake. Yanga ili one minute, uh, two minutes and seventy three seconds. Uh, two seconds, two, yeah, seventy three seconds. Mu hundred meters backstroke. Asi isu shinore vasho kare kuti aka zutaza uh, kuti ayende remberi. Nekuti kuno toro wabano sixteen chete. E, kutiva ende remberi, kutiva zone kwa kutiva nga wane mamendu uweleka na kutikwete. Tutari sa shakare mumu angari pa mitambo, uh, Peter Gupin anueta iye, uh, Jay Rowing, aka wani kwa shakare, achi nuisa mfura e, pa mitambo yake, asi, aka zuwani kwa ake, asi nga kwanza kutupinda mchika mche kuti awane menduru, asi vachinji, wali kuti iye, aka faza, mneshe sesha, anga achita, ndaka kwanza kutawara ne Zimbabwe Olympic Committee, E, vanuwa iwo va president wavo vatabani gonye wa chitaura iwo kutivai fazwa ne matambiro kana uti ne matambiro wakaita iye na iye donata uye she e, na, na peter gopin mnesha wanga vachita vachiti parishu ino wakatari sila kutipai ne mingwe mitambo ichange ichitu kwa mungua ino tevera ino sangani sila ngoni makusha anaita iye shoku manya uye 100 meters uye she ne mungu mkoma na shakare anonzi peter wesler Achange ye achita kutu wina mangwana saka e, varu kutari sila iwo kutipita. Anu gona wukubuda shaka naka ni kutari 100 meters freestyle. 
na Scott Vincent tisina kumukanganwa alikutamba iye mutambo we gorofo e, varikutari sila kutishi change chibuda asha kanaka mungu wa ino tsevera change tuluku ntu waku vakune Zimbabwe Olympic Committee pa change tuluku ende ramberi ni kutinda kakwa nsa kutawara nago nezuro uye sheeti kataura ni mamu ye variku chef de mission vanore wakuti iwo nduo variku ugara e, kuzimba zino gara vatambi ava vachange wa chichi nitu kwa oshu kwa kwa variku tisha kwa mira say chichi nikuwa iti kacha isho iko kukuma olympics gibbs yes uh, uh, let's start with the, what is happening in rural areas and we are in Chinoi where there is uh, one of our correspondents uh, Nuno Rai Jena so he has been talking to villagers about you know, COVID-19. And mm -hmm. there are very interesting stories that are coming from there. So let's listen to one of the interviews that he conducted uh, today. Yeah. Mm. So Eh, <laughs> There you are, Mavilas. Very interesting assessment from this lady. She's a she's a marvel to 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 watch and listen to. You know. Eh, kuva kuni mwe muzi mai wekuma shona lende west. Ah, rikuchi no ya taura ni mtori ulio na u nunora ije na garu kumufunza iye kutuko say vasi kubai watu nuna kuti nunora iye aka uyo achitu taura nesu ah pa program ipo pana pa achitu zao. Uh, pa msoro pesha akanga achinzi kwa iye mshuri mekunga bai wanumba ndove kutanga e, maturive na uwa kenda kuno bai wanumba saka apo asa mba iye achienda iye kumamisha achinyaso nonzi wisisa kutiko sei e, vanu wasiliku yenda kuno bai wanumba saka apo mzimayo ya kuta uroma onera wakia chite mm, ini njino uchika na kutipane wanu wakuta ura shaka wanda wanda asi uh, tishange triku uzgo shakare tishwona shakare shikuta uruwa nevamwe e, vare kumamisha or maybe some people didn't understand, Shona. Maybe you can just briefly watch. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, we were hearing there from uh, a young lady in Mashonaland West in Chinoy, uh, where our reporter Nun Raijena was asking her that uh, has she taken her COVID-19 vaccine? And she says no, because uh, she is scared. But she says, you know, she, she has heard, you know, teachers in her area actually urging people to go and get vaccinated. And she said that she's considering it, but... Uh, you know, she's afraid for, of some of these, um, you know, like uh, fake news that has been circulating, misinformation that has been passed along. Uh, but so far, she says, you know, she has heard about the vaccination program and the teachers in her area are the ones that have really been pushing the community to go and get vaccinated. Yes, and we also have uh, a gentleman who was uh, talking to Ezra Chisaspanda in Bulawa about the same thing. Let's listen to what uh, this gentleman said to Ezra <laughs> Asas, which is a curious video, you call a spooner and you must pull out. Nova, Unzenga, who's a coming in a lamp like saying, Boots, SPD Kona in Vataswasa, who's a good sister. So as it was, so she has a saga six of cast, he review our spy. As was Gumbevas, we have a star by him. 
Minangsa <laughs> I see your checks police. So to yeah, yeah. yeah, there you are, Marvellous. So this gentleman is actually worried about, uh, you know, the second vaccine. He says, well, the, the first one, we got it, but we don't have the second vaccine. And he's looking forward for his second dose. But he's concerned, you know. He says, maybe, you know, what they do when they're vaccinating you, first they give you the disease itself and then kill it using the second vaccine. I mean, there are so many theories, you know. Yeah, there are a lot of theories out there, but our health mm. officials are really urging people to go back to their doctors or to medical professionals to actually get, you know, a perfect example or an explanation as to why people should take the vaccine and not to follow the misinformation out there. Yes, we also have another uh, lady in Chinoy. So let's listen to what uh, she told uh, Nunurai. COVID-19. <laughs> Same Nakachino diwa kufara mino da kuno muromo. Nuku gesa maoko hako. Nuku santai sa ndusha ndika bata wa. Ndusha mwuri kuhitereza. Ndusha ndiki. Masi ndirukuwa na mimi ndi micheti mchimbiru akapika maske. Kumukesa kwa nda wawo fampa wa machimbiru anga sana kupika maske. Sayi mchimine chi chikilo kwa doko wakana utimine mchikala maka pika maske. Ndirukuwa kupika la maske uti ndisaba tiwe ne COVID-19. Nuku ti ndakandu kwa utino uya ni mmepo. Wani. And in it up run to second, I got to get up to the mask with your tissue. Did you read a one of the two shandans and the bayou? Shatakan won't go to Vanava, bayou of a Nurwara. Second, I got a number of batteries was good in the ammo. It was the man who was the man who was the man who was the man who was So there you are. That's another lady today who is expressing a kind of fears, you know, right? Yes, uh, she's actually saying that, you know, from what she heard, she says she heard somewhere on radio uh, that, you know, those with high blood pressure cannot get vaccinated. That's why she's not getting vaccinated. But she says she's mindful, she has a mask, she washes her hands and she practices social distancing. Uh, but I think, you know, another interesting, uh, you know, fact that I saw right there, she was wearing a T-shirt with the image of the former president. Robert uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I saw that as well. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's interesting that she, mm. she still has that T-shirt. But um, she was saying, no, she's very interested in protecting her health. But I think what is lacking is awareness as to who gets vaccinated. 
Uh, so maybe if the government is listening or Minister of Health is listening, they need to go out there in the rural areas and educate, especially the older uh, people that, you know, even if you do have a pre-existing condition like high blood pressure, uh, HIV, diabetes, uh, all those, you can still get vaccinated, Just but you just have to talk to your uh, a healthcare worker who's vaccinating you and they'll, they'll give you the way forward. So she was expressing, you know, her own view that she was told or had heard from someone that mm. because she has high blood pressure, she can't get vaccinated. But she called it right when she said uh, uh, COVID-19 is airborne, right? Yes, uh, she, she said she, she she heard once again that mm. it's airborne because I you no, know, no, I asked her that, but you know, some of the older people, the older generations are not wearing masks. Why are you wearing a mask? And she said she wants to protect herself because she's aware or has heard that it's airborne. Uh, but the only issue that she had was that she was not aware that people can get vaccinated even if they have had high blood pressure. Uh, high blood pressure. Jackson Iri. Aiwa ayomanyepo. Wanachire mba wana kutawara iwo kutikunyangwe wune high blood pressure. Uh, HIV, uh, diabetes, nejimwe wa shirigwele ono gona kubaiwa COVID-19 vaccine. Asi, unofanda kutipa una inda paye utawara ni wanu wanikuwa chuku baya iwavo. Kutimunyato wili rana kutisha kamira si. Asi, seku nzikuwa kwa wakaita iwo wanga wana kutisha kwa wanu 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 Yes, we also have another lady. So Nora has been doing a wonderful job here. So let's listen to what uh, he discussed with this lady. So just a second. I think uh, we've got uh, a slight uh, topic there. Uh, let's try it again. Because <laughs> And the quantity of Pusha Barandi in the Rapid Amount. That's the situation that is there in rural areas, you know. People rely on radio. You know, Studio 7 is one of the most powerful. Uh, mediums of communication. So, you know, maybe one day we have to do a town hall on this, right? I think we've been doing a great job, to be honest. Throughout the year, we had doctors and experts coming here explaining that people with, you know, conditions, because she said she heard it on radio too, but I think we can always increase um, uh, the kind of information we're giving to people. Hopefully she's listening today so that she can hear. Uh, but it would be good to bring a medical expert so they can explain. Saka potukun zwa wangu amai barukuta ora iwo kuti avasku wani kwa iwo vachipe wani kutuwaka nzwa kuti vano ya muisa ababa iwo. So she's saying that she heard that those people that are breastfeeding should not get vaccinated. And she said, and then Nunurai, our reporter, asked her uh, that, but why are you not wearing a mask? And she said, I can't wear a mask because I'm pushing a wheelbarrow with a sack of maize on it so I can't breathe because... Now, if I wear a mask, I won't be able to breathe. And you notice that she also has a daughter uh, or son. Uh, she has a baby on her back. So she is literally saying that she has a mask, but she hasn't put it on because she is also pushing a wheelbarrow. Uh, but like what we said, you know, it's important for uh, people who do come on the program, especially those uh, medical practitioners, to continue giving the awareness program because we can see from what this lady is saying. Uh, that, you know, seriously, I'm not sure where she had on radio and which radio uh, it mm -hmm. was paid, but uh, she's saying she had on radio uh, that people who are breastfeeding should not take the vaccine. 
Yes, and we've got some uh, people who are taking their children to their workplaces. Like if you're a vendor, you take your kid there the whole day, you know, because they don't want their children to interact with any other person. So they are saying this is one way of preventing the spread of COVID-19. So Ezra had a chat with the, these uh, ladies and children. Let's just hear what they, they are saying about, you know, uh, the ways they are preventing COVID-19. So here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 When Long We also we <laughs> 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 Yes, Mm. 
so so there you are Mavira. so these uh, children are with their mom you know it's like uh, they spend the whole day with her uh, because the mother has been told that you know at one stage there are people who used to go to church mm -hmm. and then most of those people were infected because kids will do certain things during the day, and then when the parents go back home, they'll have this problem of getting infected, as kids will be just, you know, uh, getting infected outside their homes. So she decided to take her kids to, you know, a stall in Bulawayo and sell things while they are seated there. And Ezra actually asked the kids about that kind of a thing. And they said, oh, you know what? It's okay that we are here and we are no longer interacting with our own friends because we fear that we can contract COVID-19. So maybe that's the new normal, you never know. Ipotukunzwaramuematimaiwarukutawaraibokutivakuendaniwanawabu <laughs> COVID-19. COVID-19 Yes, Marvelous, now turning to, uh, you know, the Olympic Games. So we know that uh, Donata has actually been uh, eliminated from the competition. And so the Zimbabwe Olympic Co Olympics uh, Committee uh, gave us an authority to, uh, actually authorized us to use their videos. So we've got a video here of Donata talking about uh, the way she participated in the game. Hi guys, it's Donata here and I've just swam my 100 back. Um, I'm really happy with the time I swam. Um, and I think that really boils down to all the training I've done over the years um, for this event and this event. And at the same time, um, with all the pressure here in Tokyo of being around the best Olympians in the world, um, I think just staying calm and focusing on swimming was the best part of it. So I think that video actually uh, was not rolling uh, properly. So let's try it again, Mamblas. Maybe this time around, it's going to work. Hi guys, Hi guys. it's Nada here and I've just swam my 100 back. Um, I'm really happy with the time I swam. Um, and I think that really boils down to 
all the training I've done over the years um, for this event and at the same time um, with all the pressure here in Tokyo of being around the best Olympians in the world um, I think just staying calm and focusing on the swimming was the best part of it yeah. Yes, she's still young, you know, and according to Frederick Lindov, who's the uh, uh, leader of the delegation in Tokyo, she still has got a lot of time, you know, in this kind of game. And he believes that maybe she's going to make it in the future. They're going to France very soon. And the belief is she may do well there, you know. Yes. Um, I think that's, you know, a true assessment because the, she is now vying for France 2024, which isn't very far away. And at 17, anything can happen. But she did make Zimbabwe very proud. We had a lot of uh, young teenagers who also, uh, you know, take part in sports here in the United States. And uh, in Zimbabwe, actually uh, saying they were inspired because this is the first time that they're seeing a young black girl like themselves. We know that the former minister, I mean, the minister of uh, a sports, Kirsty Coventry herself, in Olympia is also at the Olympics and has also been saying very good words about how Donata participated. Sakapotanga Trukona, Donata, Mwewe, Zimbabwe, Mutuwini, Wechitema, Akawani kwa iya, Chituwina, Nezura, Akakunda, Mune, Shangaru, Kuta, Asi, Nekutingu wa yake, Yaka Sokundu, Waone, Vamu, Nekutiva, Ida Kutiva Ture, a Top 16 Mwanu, Vakange, Vare Kutuwina, Iye, and also, Quansa Batangua E. Sagatino Nak to EOS, Zimbabwe Olympic Committee, Ipto Tower of Tirku Fadswa, and Nematu Niro Akaita, a donata, we are going to tell us about the Achangi, Arquende Rambe, Nema Piku Aya, Mona twenty twenty four, who France, the Titona Sakarikuti, I am Bobomu to win, a Kanaku Dida, a Mudidimukuru, a Watinoti Kesi Coventry, Ave E, a Mutunga Milkan of Way, Bazres. Sports, Iwaya, and a Remi Tambo, Angariko, Vangavariko, Shakariko, Tokyo, we are able to work at Fadsba and Kutuina, Kakaita, Donata. And what uh, Lindsay Tudo uh, Kole, who is the uh, one of the technical advisors uh, for Donata, uh, Donata, let's hear what uh, she's saying about you know the uh, the athlete. Um, hi, it's Lindsay Tudor, coach for the Swimming for Zimbabwe. I um, just wanted to give feedback on Donata's incredible swim. She handled it perfectly, even with all the, you know, the magnitude of the the pressure of the Olympic Games. And super proud of her. She did everything correctly. So, well done, Donata. Yeah, marvelous. Uh, that's a kind of um, uh, being praised by your coach or technical advisor is something big, you know. Yes, uh, you know, there are a lot of, uh, we, Facebook was on fire and all other social media platforms, Twitter, uh, and also uh, Instagram was on fire with people actually sending out congratulatory messages to Donata. And those that didn't know her by now, I think, you know, they know her uh, for her swimming that she did uh, over the weekend. And I see there you have a young Zimbabwean based here in the United States in Wisconsin, Makachukowero, who herself is actually a swimmer, and she has said that you know she has been inspired by what, by what she saw Kirsty Coventry doing, and now Donata are uh, doing right there in, uh, in in Tokyo, and uh, she was actually a recipient of a very huge award, the Tommy uh, Award from you know he he's one of the Olympians from yesteryear, and uh, she actually received this award because of the philanthropic work that she's doing uh, in rural. Zimbabwe. She works to promote young girls to take up sports. She's also an avid soccer player and uh, to try and uh, dissuade these girls from going into early child marriages. Yes, uh, so let's hear what uh, she's saying about some of these things. I think it's a very brief uh, video of her there. Wow, what an honor it is to receive this award. Thank you, Coach Amanda. I want to say thank you to my swim and soccer coaches, family, teammates, and everyone who supports me in my fight for gender equality and sports and education. I want to say also thank you to everyone that made this event possible. I stand on the shoulders of icon such as Mr. Tommy Smith, who is here today, who fought against racism in the 60s and continues to do so today. I dedicate this award to girls in rural Zimbabwe in the MPC programs and the girls that fight for brighter and equal futures. My message remains the future is young, bright, and female. Let's keep striving for what we believe in. Yes, there you are, Marvelous. Maybe you can tell us a bit about what she is saying there. 
Apocrypha, E, achita yeshu kumanya, saka pangwa hiyo yoko nga kuine usaru raganda, saka ane awadi ya ano upa, kana utumbairo ano upa, vanu wano fundi zile iyo kutubaru kuita mabasa, akanaka mkomuniti, saka pa makachiko wero, aka piwa mubairo iwoyo, a, ni mabasa haru kubata, haru uku Zimbabwe, uku haru kushanda, neva sika na lechibi kukunjumbo ye, yechi mani mani ne kumo, achiva kuru zile kutubaita yeshu emi tambo, kuitra utufasa wanikwe iwo wachi, pinda mkurozwa, so they were hearing from uh, Makama Chikowero. She's a swimmer herself, and she says she's eyeing the Olympics in future, but she's also uh, a soccer player. So she has started her own organization, MTC, uh, Educate a Girl Foundation, and she recently received the Tommy Smith Award. Tommy Smith is actually an, an American Olympiad who was able to attend the Olympics when there were still not many black people attending the Olympics. So uh, she's there just saying that, you know, she feels honored because, you know, it, you know, this kind of award breaks down all the barriers. And she says, the few, so she says the future is very female. So she's very excited uh, by how Donata actually performed at uh, the swimming uh, event in Tokyo, Japan. And Frederick Lindov is actually happy about that as well. So let's listen to uh, what he said when I uh, to chat with him. Uh, today. Um, so he was talking about exactly what is going on in Japan. There it comes. <laughs> Um, Saga 29. Uh, we are again a good semi final, uh, semi final, try semi final CND. Le is a is a, is a good chuti, a uh, over position, a uh, bang, a uh, uh, seven to twelve, a good montes on away, rowing overall. Uh, and then is very similar to Nata, a uh, on we are at the Pucha is solo, who said but uh, in terms of who and then as I was saying, I was saying, "Molo okichima yo eskubu, ukuto angoni, angoni makusha, moye osesele ukuti akichime, imushalo ako kala i hundred meters, also we are ukuto angu Scott Vincent, owe golf, yenage uza kala mshaga thirty one, umshalo ake, and then oku kina ngo soseba mu mu Walter, u Peter Walter moye oya." Pugucha, Konapa Elizabeth Elizabeth Tila says Zimbabwe la origin. So sile temba ndongo uti njion ano mfana ngomano sa kulayo. E kala uwe ala hapa kuma Olympics njenga abanya bake wongke ngoba vele. Ipke mbule jele Zimbabwe ilaba ngelaba sa kulaya basa sive ngani. So uwa wawo kulapa basa tola sivi li infundi so li confidence nkulu li experience uwa uti masa skanya li lufrasi 2024. Ay sile temba sivi luguta ay dapo imne njolo kwa bukso umele si tola kani. Yeah, what's the way of Vincent Labani Lava, Lomakusha, Baminjan, and of Chancola? Vincent Ungakumbula and Nanga Mufa, 
Mungunye wababili la wana esi ngati ba qualify straight by 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 mungu kompita e abazange betola esi ngati ngesilu mungu ngama 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 invitational slots so so stembele uti njongwa na vele e rengti e waba mungunye wababezudu abazali golf sile temba uti hai Zana city uyang kena la pana imkalenu wake ukone singa kutola. Yeye ubasubu yake umakusha mama pshani. La umakusha ge uyakala uguba guma Olympics so basi toka njela yake tese wemsu anesa dagujula city simu basi soko dai ebege ababa ipiga pansi akoli sumkalo wake. Uza shanga la lencha ntuota i i i kono kuhu tivele yena se shige la guma Olympics kuwa kuko kuchengse utu kwa nguo na vile use la loi lungelo lugo thola i video ni mendo de kuliti so e a kani lika kuli kuhu tu unzunza na lencha tu pata kani lika kuli kuhu tu italenta yake yesimle telapa ndi talenta yake ngamstiki sapezo ye wongo noko nguenza lilungse lugo tu we we hundred e France a kuchere a kono kuhu e France kuhu tu we ni oga ukusanza kule France. Ifransi, Ifransi, iza, iza ba, what we call the next host, iza ma Olympic Games in 2024. So ngao kile likambule tu lele, ele saba likambule tu sinati it's a young team. So that the ecosystem, sile timba, wuti uwa wabu lapa, uza ba nika a lot of confidence. E wuti ngase sulungsele la Ifransi. Sasa sisi le tena basi bila kutai sasa sisi fedha sisi kani lama imendo longo na ngwasu. Yes, this is the Frederick Lovu. Marvelous, he is in Tokyo, Japan. So he gave us a lot of information there, you know, on Makusha, on Kilpin, and all the athletes, and saying that this is a young team, you know, some of these guys are participating for the first time. So he's confident that at the end of the day they are going to make it, you know. Whether we like it or not, we could, should be assured that uh, right now, of course, uh, the spirits are low, but it's optimistic that a lot is going to happen. Uh, yes, I actually had the opportunity to speak to him yesterday, so it's good. He's been very open and uh, very. we have to really commend um, the Zimbabwe Olympic Committee for really being open and being providing us with the information that, that we need. So let's take a listen uh, to Tabani Gonye because... Um, he then went on to comment on how Donat had performed and the forthcoming uh, hits that are coming for the other Olympians. Let's, let's take a listen to the conversation I had with him. I was a seventeen years old. I was a seventeen years old. I was a seventeen years old. I was a a for the semi-finals event. I was a seventeen year old. I was a seventeen year old. I was a Saka Jamira Jaka Daro Pa Awani kwa chitu wina Donata Matak Awani kwa chikunda Mchikam Chaki Juno Reve Acha Ende Ramberi Reka Nok Jamira Se Acha Ende Ramberi Nekuti Chikam Pa Wango Ari Wango Achi Enda Kuma Sema Finals Iwa Oma Semi Final Wango Achi Dama Top 16 Times Kuma Hit Esa Yitwa Saka hii ya zongo poza ni nguwa yake ya hita kutachi zoendi rambiri. Baka wanda uwa poza ni kutivangu achita seiva chingoto rama times hali top 16. Saka nisezo anda taura ndezo kuti muka wona kuma kikwito kwa hita round ino. Pepe kutipa kre kwa olympic record three times in succession. Zusa jurambo itika. Saka kura tiza kutima kikwacho angare umbezi. Abati susu se Olympic Committee. Tino fara ne china ano cha afamba. Ne paari. Ne kutimu ana mudiki watu kutari sila isusu for France 2024. Tuguraka chitimu chedu. Tichuona kutineva na varipano. Tino kona uona osu nige suri nani. Patuge na mbedu. Kwa saka ngu tino fara. Tishipembele ya nai. Ene chiti susu nika EPS mba kwika. Iwa tarese wa nava. Baone zwa waita. Ni kutipa wapi nda kana wichichanga kukusu ima maolibiks. Azwisi nyore kutiwichi wina wa hiti yako. Saka 
zvitozva tuku ufara na zvi iso zvi. Totali sa ova mweva, tambi wa rimu makwikwi aya. Ndiwa piva mweva wani kwa uwa chibudiri la muneja wa rikuita uyeje, kuneva mweva sarava, bachange wa chite imu mazuwa no tere. Aiko zino, tikati susu wa tambi wedu wa tamba, ravi chete, kala ukawe ya nema atlet wanoita five. Iko zino kwa ita Jonata, aita nasma kuse mama Niruanu, kozo ita o Peter Parcel, kiyupini wa magawo na wa chita o. Atiruge ndambe rine mpumine competition ya ke Peter Parcel. Zino iti kakezo kutiku rowi, kana kuhuti wazo nukwa no auta, nukwa no auta kuma kota finals. Baba no endra mbe, riva no endra mbe, riva chino ita, ita ma semifinal AA group, kozo ita no ma semifinal ya wanozo ita crew E crew. Iyo wata pa budira pa, wanengu wa chikwikwiza. Inonzi C group, ne T group, kutiwa endire mbeiri. Saka wanozo uvesi, wano ramba wachitamba, kozo ita pa mwabu waka buda. Iye anozo pesa kuti, azo uona kuti pa overall, pa A group, wanengu wazo ina, wano wana mameta, kozo ita wema B group, kozo ita ma C, wanengu wachita C. Pati suwane upi wa mkano, kuti yo, barambe wachikompita, kuti wazo uona kuti overall, wanivesi ya wachika pato. Sichine wa tatu wachapinda, day after tomorrow, kucha ita wana pita wesla wa swimming foot ya chapinda kuzo ita pamu ya na Scott Vincent ya sata pinda we golf kuzo ita shazo pesi la kupinda nji ingo ni makusha we 100 meters ya nozo ita msua peti saka tichine kambua wa chita wa umazo haru tele so they were hearing from Tabani Gonya who is the president of the actual Zimbabwe Olympic Committee and uh, he was actually just telling us chronically who has done what. But he says, you know, they know that uh, Donata is a young swimmer. She's only 17, so she is just getting experience for uh, France 2024. And I also, uh, coming back to Miss Tantlovo, who's the chef de mission, who's really responsible uh, for the athletes, he was actually saying, uh, Minister Kesti Coventry has been very instrumental in making sure that she continues uh, to inspire Donata uh, you know, to, to see this as a stepping stone to France at 24. And she said that when they were visiting around the Olympic village, a lot of people knew uh, who Kesti Coventry was from when she used to be a swimmer. Uh, so it was interesting for them now to see her in her capacity as a minister. Yes, and we're told that she has now been, uh, you know, roped into the uh, International Olympic Committee, you know, which is very good news according to the Herald newspaper. So, if Kesti Covert goes in there, many things are going to move, I guess. So, you will have a good time to talk about Kesti Covert 19. In the middle of the Olympic Games, it was going to be in Japan. So, it was going to be in Japan. It was going to be in the Olympics. It was going to be in Japan. Frederick Lovu. It was going to be in Japan. Yeleze teke, yeleze yeleze papwe, kula ngalege e Japan. So, ngucho kwa wapo, siwi nubati, wale wengi bale kembu, labantu, abala kukuti bazi misele, kukuti wangobe. So, ke ngase kangela, siwi nukuti, kulo Peter Walsa, Peter Walsa, uya pukucha. So, yuna, ngubona kwa ke, ngubona kuti ngundota, uya kachana, ee mkalweno wakona loo. Mbusu kwa ke loo Vincent Scott, la wenza, i kalufu. Ee, i kalufu siya kwa zutaba nengi, ee, lakili hivu ni ilalwa, Koto e ngayabanyi ali tandikanga hu. Koto kulabanyi bantu haba ila ndila okunye ukuma ngalisa e golf. So ke babona ngazani e o Vincent Scott ula ko uta ngobe. Kuzo boya ke umakusha la e ungo ni makusha. Uya kichi mapela uya sha okunye ukuma ngalisa e. Hai kipi skubu za kelapa uchi ndota iwa ngolela. So ke ukanya sivili uya kichi mangempela. Ucha i hundred meters kwa nampana ukuma ngalise uzulu. So, okay, good job, okay, marvelous. Mm-hmm. I want to go on up to see she's in just a quick cup of me, Tambo EOE, I am a Olympics, Taka Pandaka Taura, Navan Dovu, a Navatabani Gonyanes, Duro, right out of Ivo, Iko Tokyo, a Nasi Wangavaka Tarisa to Kungan wait at Typhoon, Sakandis, the Utisha, so Famba saying, the Tuangavaka Kuti, Vatambi Vashinji, Vakangi, Vakanzi Nasi, Wongo, Sorora, which was Vatangi Shakari, a Kutami Tambo Yabo, Mangwana. Apo tuku wana sektora kwa ita wa gwenye. Kutipachange paine mkoma na achange arkuita swimming mangwana saka maziso ese. Achange arkuitari sakuti pita. Achange arku wani kwa ita wangu ya mangwana mu hundred meters. Achabuda say umakwiku iwayo nduwa kanyanyo tarisi wanewa shinji. 
atizo ziva zvakare kuti nguva yeku Japan yakati siye ine pasiro sitsaka tinotora mbati chitarisa kuti zvaitika here nekuti sisi patinenge chiti mangwana ivo vanenge vatosvika asaka toti tichange takatarisa kuti zvizvi chabuda kubva ku Tokyo ku Japan uko kune makwikwi e Olympics a Tokyo 2020 yeah before we go maybe let's uh, you know play a video of you know Elijah Nkala who was in the Olympics he has got a lot to share you know, to people that don't even know him. So let's hear him talking here. Competed with the Carl Lewis. It was my first time to see the great athletes in the world. Uh, Carl Lewis and Ben Johnson competing in the over 100 So meters. you were together in the village in the competition? Yeah, we were together yeah. in the village camps. Um, uh, the camps, they were very, very much, very much good because uh, when they uh, were announcing the athletes, all the artists with so and so is from this country, so and so is from this country, and then they came, they called my name. They like Jankala from Zimbabwe. Then I had to jump in front, and I felt very great. Very, very great because the stadium was fully packed, fully, fully packed with the, uh, you know, the competition was very great and was very fierce because I competed with the guys, Steve Lewis, who won the 400 meters over my event. It was Steve Lewis. Um, after that, so uh, you clocked in 46 seconds, yes, which was a record for Zimbabwe. It was, it's never been achieved, yes, yes, yes. So, how was it? How did you feel clocking 46 seconds? Is it for a uh, 400 meters? It was over 400 meters, it was a very good, uh, I mean, a record, but then it was, uh, it was somebody uh, broke that record again. 45, the guys were best in, uh, in states mm -hmm. yeah so you didn't reach the final of the olympics I, no i didn't i didn't mm -hmm. so but you're proud of your achievement very much i was very much proud of my achievements mm. uh, just just to be in the olympics camps as a man as a human being is something great in human life mm. Mm. so these are some of the medals which you won uh, competing in various yeah. uh, meetings various you can see the botswana Namibia, yeah, Namibia, yes. you can see uh, yes. some of them trekking through Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe and all that. Uh, Zambia. Yeah, Zambia and uh, all that. This, yes. this one is for all Africa games? Yeah, this is for all Africa games. Uh, yeah, in, how did you score there? In, in, in Egypt. Uh, yes. And then you came out number? No, in Egypt. It was, um, I maybe what? I went up to the semi finals. Okay, yes. then you admitted the semi finals. Uh, what is your greatest disappointment? My greatest disappointment is because I wasn't offered a scholarship like other athletes. Yeah, that was very much uh, a very big disappointment uh, in my life because uh, when uh, I was in um, in Wanki, I understand I was, uh, I was elected to. I mean, I was given a scholarship okay. by one of the countries, India. Uh, the lead coach, maybe because of um, I don't know, I mm. didn't get my forms. So you left out. Yeah, I was left out. Mm. Yeah. So, um, what are you doing in terms of life and business now? Yeah, life is hard. We're just running these um, uh, flea markets, and then it will try my luck, maybe mining because of the lack of equipments. There's nothing. Um, it's just, just like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about uh, in terms of athletics? Are you doing anything? Are you having a cut? I've got a cap. Mm -hmm. But uh, my wish is to form an academy, to have an academy, sports, uh, sports academy, athletics academy. I've got a club because of lack of facilities, lack of funds and transport for the kids to go and compete. That uh, uh, is a down. very big disadvantage. Mm. What's your greatest wish now? I wish people to help me, uh, maybe, uh, and my former friends whom I competed with internationally, just to just to have a day and visit my club and see what is happening. And I wish to have a pole vault in the rural areas, uh, one of the event which is very scarce in this country. And the pole vault, uh, steeple chairs, and have some eggs in the rural area to tap the talent uh, to those kids who are very much remote, who are far from the uh, towns. Marvelous, this is one of the greatest athletes ever produced uh, in Zimbabwe. You know, he was he actually clocked 46.60 seconds in the 400 meters.
before okay. the uh, 1988 uh, South, uh, North Korea, South Korean games, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, I know him from the one high school. He was my junior there, but I couldn't even compete with him. He was one of the most powerful guys, Elijah and Kala. So he's still powerful, I'm told. He's now a counselor. And we are almost uh, done for today. So maybe you can sign off today. You start, then I, I come at the end. Uh, just to remind all our listeners and followers that uh, don't forget that Peter Wensler will be swimming tomorrow. He's aged 24 and he will be in the 100 meters freestyle in Tokyo, Japan. Peter Wensler, and a per hundred meters of freestyle to Tokyo to Japan. In India, ni marvelous in Fanganya, who entry in Washington, the shooting at Sanganesh, Kari, Mangwana Palace, talking that he could curry. And I'm Gibbs Dewey in Maryland saying good night, Zimbabwe. So, marvelous, cheers. Thank you so much.